Hi guys, it's reaction time. We've got House of Lords and Crowded Room. Uh, a few people have asked for this this week. Um, quite a few subscribers have asked, so thank you to all those that have asked for this one. You know, House of Lords, man. I mean, I I love the comeback from House of Lords uh, uh, a f quite a few years ago now, um, and I think they were they were one of my most listened to bands. I think, and I think they had a. I'm not saying bad releases. They had a couple that you know I I just couldn't get into a few years ago, um, and I didn't. I don't think I really gave the last album much of a chance and I should have done. Um, and I think it might have been like the album before it, I was a little bit, I, I couldn't get into it for some reason. I'm not saying it was bad because I didn't give it enough chance probably. Um, and But, you know, the, the quality of this band, and I've heard some really great things about the last album now. Um, and it's sort of, I was thinking, you know, how busy the channel is and how busy I am. I, I didn't really, if I go back and listen to an album for, from a recent year, I'm just trying to listen to stuff now. So it's hard to keep up. Um, so I thought, man, I've heard some great things about the last album. So this has got to be worth a spin. And, you know, with all the people asking for me to do it, um, we're here for Crowded Room. Um, I love James Christian's voice as well. What a great vocalist he is. So looking forward to hearing his his tone is just amazing. I love his vocals. And he stands out amongst many vocalists as well. So, House of Lords, crowded room. I can't wait to hear this. Here we go. You do you know him. Him. What's just 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 <laughs> very impressed man man oh i'm a bit gutted now <laughs> i didn't didn't really give the last album that much of a chance because man i'm going to give this one a chance um 
amazing vocals. I mean, just to touch upon James Christian's vocals, man. I mean, he, you think about it, like when they came back, I think it was it World Upside Down they came back with was the, the comeback album, if you like, years and years ago. Um, when they first came back with that, it was almost like, the, you know, they were obviously like, it was their late 80s band, I think, from the beginning. And it was like, you know, they were a comeback band. And now all these years later, I mean, World Upside Down must have been about at least 15, 15 years ago, at least, I would say. Um, and to think that his vocals, man, I mean, he's got this tone that is just unmistakable. One of the most recognisable vocals out there. But, you know, the power still. And I love the way he's using it in the his vocals in these really well written vocal lines as well you know he's dropping down at certain points and making it really catchy he's just not staying at that same level the the real hook of this song is a lot of the vocal lines as well which is how it should be the vocal lines are written like that um the energy i love the like the metal riff that's running through it almost got a little slight progressive feel because of the the timing of the riff that's clever um there's um a little bit of Hammond organ there I can hear. Um they've always been a really good keyboard synth infused band. You know, they always have. Um so it's nice to hear that used just perfectly and really tastefully. Um love it, just love it. The the, the verses, the the pre-chorus is great because it really builds you up for the chorus, which is outstanding. Um, there's nothing, nothing negative I could say about it at all. It's, it's full of energy. And you think about these guys, I don't know how old they are now. Um, the energy is just all over this track. It's highly, you know, energy infused, heavy rock. Just great, man. And it sounds, I think I remember now, a couple of albums back, I was a bit, the al album sounded like produced quite mixed or mixed quite bad or I, I, I think and i apologize if that's not right i think i just started doing the channel and, and it sort of put me off it shouldn't do really i mean it's more than just a, a mix of an album i understand that but you know this sounds great it just yes yeah, bringing out everything that's great about the band absolutely love it man it's a brilliant song here we go for the rest Just absolutely brilliant. I love the um the solo is fantastic, especially when it like we did done the gap in a dana and almost that dampened string feel. Almost had like a 
uh, almost a classical sort of feel. And then went into that, like the main uh, melody of the solo, you know, just thinking about the solo, really subtly sort of fitting with the song. And then the energetic chorus. And then the, that riff again coming in at the end. Very cool, man. Great song. Absolutely fantastic song. I love it when I go, you know, when you've left a band, I didn't leave them behind on. I think if it was one album that I didn't, or a couple of albums I haven't really heard. But when you go back and see that they're creating great music again, it just makes me happy. It really does. That was fantastic fantastic absolutely brilliant house of lords crowded room i'm not sure if an album's been um announced yet but not under the video it's not but i'm sure there will be an album on its way looking really looking forward to hearing that brilliant what do you reckon of that guys in the comments below and i'll see you soon